three exercises you should be doing if you want to grow your triceps. So welcome back. Today I'm going to go through three exercises, three exercises that I feel like everyone should be doing if they want to develop and grow their triceps. In. With number one, it's going to be some sort of dip variation or you could do a close grip variation of some sort. So for me, you will see I do dips here. You could do machine dip. You could do a body weight dip or weighted dip. You could do a narrow grip Smith press, a narrow grip barbell press, or a narrow grip uh, machine press. And here, this is the main big compound movements where you can really handle a good chunk of load while really loading the triceps. So the goal here for me in this is to put that tricep under as much load as I can in that stretch and be able to really generate a lot of force through it as well. So them big bang for your book movements, such as like a dip or a close grip press, I think they're going to be the most beneficial in terms of getting what we want from a movement like this. So today I'm gonna to go through dip, I'm gonna go through cues of what I like to use so you can take them into your session. Yes guys, so using the prime dip here, now, like I said, you can handle a decent bit of load on a tricep compound, like a dip. So first of all, I lock my legs under, I get myself stable, and then what I'm looking to do here when I come up into the stretch, I'm not thinking about keeping my arms like super tight to my body. I'm letting them come up in the natural path. And what I'm mainly focused on here is driving them elbows back. So staying tall and allowing them elbows to travel back, creating as much like bend in the elbow and elbow flexion as possible. So I'm literally thinking, trying to bring my forearms up and squashing them into my biceps, which thinking about that really allows me to drive them, uh, them elbows back and load that tricep hard. So uh, that's kind of my main cue here. I like the rep range of like anywhere from like eight to 12 reps here. I think that's perfectly so. For, for, the, for me here, I done two sets of 10 to 12, and um, this done the job perfectly. So, dips. Second exercise is an overhead extension of some sorts. Really challenging the tricep in the stretch. So, this could be uh, an easy bar skull crusher, it could be a dumbbell skull crusher, it could be a standing overhead rope extension. Anything that really kind of challenges that tricep in the stretch. So anything kind of overhead, I feel like is extremely beneficial. For me here, I use a seated overhead extension using, using daisy chains, just because I feel like I can, I can grip onto them and lock in pretty nicely. So I can really get a nice stretch and then push my hand against them to squeeze well. That's the only reason why I'm using daisy chains here, but anything that feels good for you. Yes, yeah, so overhead extensions. Now, it's a bit awkward to get into this one. So if you have something to throw it up to you, it's definitely, definitely a little bit easier. <laughs> um, but what you're looking to do here is cable down the bottom, uh, not right down the bottom, uh, uh, like a couple of notches up will be perfect. And then you can see here that upper arm, when I get into position, that stays locked in. So upper arm kind of stays where it is. And I'm letting the hands stretch down the cables come down as much as I possibly can, pausing in the bottom for one to two seconds and then driving up. And again, really trying to allow forearms come down and like smash into biceps. And when I feel that, I know that my triceps are like fully stretched here as well. So I'm just making sure I spend time mainly in the stretch. I'm holding the squeeze for a second as well, but like it's really, really emphasizing the stretch when I come down here into the bottom, really holding that. This, I like 10 reps plus. I think anything less is, is okay, but I think for me personally, I like anywhere from like 10 to 15 reps with that one to two second pause in the bottom of every rep. That's, you know, that's a lot of tension through tricep. I think when you step up out of this then, it's a, it's a lot of blood that rushes through. Toward movement here, you will see any sort of tricep push down. So here I am using an easy bar, tricep push down with a cable. You could do single arm, you could use D handles, you could use a cuff, you could use some sort of cross body extension, any sort of tricep push down, which will really then challenge your tricep in that squeeze. Now, tricep push downs. So as I grab the bar and pull it down, I lock my upper arm into position. 
Okay, so that doesn't really move through the whole movement. So upper arm kind of stays where it is. The same cue here, bringing forearms up, squashing them into my bicep. And then when I do that, I know I have that full stretch in the tricep. What I'm thinking of here as well is I almost imagine my elbow traveling back as I come up into it. So I feel like when my elbow travels forward, I don't get as much of a stretch. So you will see, you can literally see my tricep stretch here and then I squeeze back through it. So as I come up, I think about elbow coming back, I keep upper arm where it is, and I think about bringing forearms right up into biceps. Again, I will hold for a second here in the stretch, and then really contract the like the squeeze hard for like one to two seconds on every rep as well. Again, just lim eliminating any momentum, and just making sure that the squeeze and the contraction on every rep, they're just hard. Um, again, I like, 10 to 12 reps on this. So there we have it, we have the three movements. We have used the dip for really, really being able to load that tricep in the stretch and then being powerful and aggressive through. Then we have used the overhead extension to really challenge the tricep in the stretch, in that lengthen position. And then the third movements, we've really, really challenged that tricep in the contraction and the shorts. So that way we're hitting all three heads of our tricep and we are getting the most out of it rather than just doing two or three movements which rather than using two or three movements which literally challenge the exact same part of the tricep this way we have three movements all challenging different areas which will give us the biggest bang for our book if this has helped drop me a comment like share subscribe and do give these movements a try in your next session